Okay, so let's talk about how the ends of DNA molecules are replicated. So if you remember, eukaryotic cells have linear DNA molecules while prokaryotes have circular. So none of this is going to apply to prokaryotes because as I said before, they have circular chromosomes and uh, we're not going to be dealing with any sort of issues as far as replicating ends of DNA. But we will have a problem with uh, DNA in eukaryotic cells. So um, if you guys remember, the way replication works, the way DNA replication works is by first parental strands are separated and they are going to serve as templates. And then we're going to synthesize the leading strand, which is that continuous synthesis. And then we also have lagging strand. So every time we need to synthesize that new strand, we're going to have to lay down a primer, which in fact is done by RNA primates. So RNA primase will synthesize a short primer, and this primer is going to provide that 3' prime OH group, which DNA polymerase needs in order to be able to begin synthesis of complementary strands. So this happens on the leading strand right here is not shown in a picture, so that would be a tiny little segment to begin the synthesis. But then if you look on the lagging strand, every little fragment has to be has to be um, has to have that primer at first in order to have that fragment uh, produced but then later those primers are degraded they are removed and then those gaps are filled with normal DNA nucleotides so the problem is that very last piece that very last fragment when you remove that primer from over here this part is not going to be synthesized because if you notice your parental strand this is your three prime end and then this would be five and as I said before DNA polymerase cannot initiate synthesis at five prime end it needs the three prime end so it cannot begin the synthesis so it means this part in the DNA is not going to be finished now the reason your uh, enzymes that discover changes in the DNA molecule and you know if they notice that there is something going on um, abnormal with DNA molecule normally they would degrade it and probably the cell would have to undergo apoptosis and the reason it doesn't happen because there are a bunch of proteins that are going to sort of hide this unfinished end so that way it prevents this DNA from being degraded okay so Every time DNA is replicated, notice we're going to be dealing with these little unfinished ends. So what that means is DNA is going to be is going to get shorter and shorter within each round of replication. So this at first might seem like a problem, but it really isn't because at the ends of chromosomes we have these repeating sequences of um, repeating sequences of the nucleotides and these are called telomeres so if you have long telomeres even though the DNA is getting shorter you are just shorting your telomeres so you're not losing any genes yet so if um, if your telomeres get so short now obviously your cell will no longer divide because it would not want to risk and lose the actual genes that code for specific proteins while those telomeres do not code for anything so so as I said before luckily we have these telomeres and therefore they serve as protective little caps so that way you do not lose the important genetic information so um, and of course the sequences of telomeres are going to differ depending on the type of organism that we're looking at but to give you just one example in egg and sperm cells the the sequence of TTAGGG is repeated more than 1000 times um, so there is an enzyme that can actually lengthen telomeres so in other words we can add those repetitive sequences back and allow for further cell division but uh, typical somatic cells that we our body cells they do not have a lot of telomerase so the telomerase activity is very low so certain cells that have to divide continuously will have lots of telomerase so telomerase again is the enzyme can actually that can actually extend those telomeres so if you look at this picture 
this is your telomerase and it comes equipped with RNA template so this RNA template will will be followed notice the nucleotides are going to be added based on that template and that's how the extension is going to be taken place um, notice again we have the telomerase that is going to anneal to that single stranded end of DNA and uh, it will form this temporary hybrid DNA and RNA and then notice the extension so we're following this code and now all these blue letters or these nucleotides now mean extended telomeres so telomeres uh, the length of telomeres have um, has been linked to aging and this is an example of Werner Werner syndrome um, this woman has um, autosomal recessive condition so which causes her to produce this abnormal protein that plays the key role in telomeres or perhaps lengthening them so it appears that her telomeres are very short and that she is definitely aging prematurely and she has other conditions age related related conditions such as osteoporosis cardiovascular disease wrinkling skin thinning hair and so forth so uh, I wanted to mention the reason cells stop dividing when the telomeres get really short is so that they would not lose the important that crucial genetic information and if you start to lose genetic information you risk developing uh, abnormal proteins which could uh, disrupt the cell cycle and therefore that cell could actually become cancerous so this is really a protective mechanism